Well, tonight, as we continue to celebrate 70 years of broadcast history at WBZ, a look at a Channel 4 legacy that has been literally changing lives for nearly 40 years. We're talking about Wednesday's Child, created by our own Jack Williams in 1981. Wednesday's Child has featured more than 1,000 kids who are looking for their forever homes. Tonight, Jack's back out of retirement hmm. and sharing a beautiful example that illustrates the difference this program has made in so many many lives. I fondly remember two young brothers, Al and Ray. Hope we get a family together. It'll, be, it'll make us both very happy. One thing I'd like is to be able to have one family and to be able to stay with it. They were among the very first Wednesday's children. Well, this is what he looks like now. This is my pal. After all these years, Al, good seeing you, buddy. Good seeing you, too. I got to visit with Al at his church in Milford, where he and his wife run a daycare center. But he was just 12 when I first met him and living a tough life. And you think back to those years when you didn't have a family at all. Correct. You know, I didn't know there were many years when I, or days, I didn't know where my next meal was going to be, where I'd be sleeping the next day. And, you know, it was tough making friends because you didn't know where you were going to be. And, you know, now it's a totally different ballgame. And thanks to being featured on Wednesday's Child. Al and his brother bounced from foster home to foster home until Joan and Tom Spettler adopted them. When I go back on Wednesday's Child, you know, there was no promise at all that this was going to work. Um, Wednesday's okay. Child gave us the opportunity to get that permanent home we needed. You know, I'm glad that there's so many other kids that have benefited from it as well. Today, Al is happily married with two sons. What do you tell people? about special needs kids looking for adoption, a lot of them have some baggage. It's going to be there. There's no question. I had baggage when I went to where I was adopted. But the stability and getting a permanent home was the thing that made, made the work the best. And Al's work at the Unitarian Universalist Church and in his community is his next step. It's my way of giving back, knowing that somebody gave me a chance to, to get my life together. Well, I am so proud of you. Well, thank you. Good boy. <laughs> Good man. <laughs> Good. Oh, that is so touching. Oh, me serious my ass. What happened to Ray, his brother? Uh, he made a career in the Army. He was in both Gulf Wars, and he retired a few years ago as a Master Sergeant. Wow. Oh, He's it? now in New York. And they were adopted together? No, they weren't. No, okay. No. Uh, Ray went on, and uh, they had their own families. And, Unbelievable. What a great story. Thank you for sharing the reunion, by the way. And you're coming back at the end of the newscast to talk about another reunion with Liz and Bob and Joyce and Bruce. All of you were here a couple days ago. I had a lot of fun. We did, too. That was pretty great. <laughs> I spent this whole night crying. Uh, well, it is just, it, it's incredible to think of the number of lives that were changed by that program. And as Al said, there were no promises, no. right? It was just an opportunity. We're done well. We didn't expect all this to happen, but it did. Thank God. So one, glad. One thing we should point out is that you still give hundreds of thousands of dollars every year to group homes. Yeah, Marcy and I have the endowment, and uh, we give 350000 to group homes. It's our little legacy to give to the kids. So that will go on for quite a while. We put aside a lot of money. Outstanding. Right. So nice to have you back. This Thanks, is great. Lisa. And continuing with the tradition, we want to introduce you to this week's Wednesday's child. Meet 10-year-old Isaiah. He is funny. He's fun-loving. He's curious. He loves to draw and paint. And in fact, Isaiah wants to become an artist someday. If you're interested in adopting Isaiah or learning more about him, go to our website, cbsboston.com slash Wednesday's child. And since you're here, why don't we have you toss to Eric for weather? That's right. Well, boy, that was a nice uh, day yesterday you gave me. We about got washed away, a buddy of mine and I. Eric, what a mess. You know, Jack, we only got to work together for a couple of years, but I remember always so complimentary of the weather department, even if we screw it up every once in a while. Uh, you did a pretty good job. We always appreciated that, and uh, great to see you in the studio this evening.